So here's our new truck. The owner swapped us into a 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, it's got an extra axle on it so we can carry things that are a little heavier, heavier loads. Um, it doesn't have a lift gate on the back, but that's all right. Most of our uh, freight is no touch and they have mostly, uh, I mean, all the loads that we get, we don't need a lift gate. Yeah, it's beautiful. So the cool thing about uh, this is the two extra, like we have an extra rabbit hole on the old truck. We only had one rabbit hole on each side, so this one's longer. You fit more stuff in there. And these ones actually lock too. The other ones didn't, so we have a key for these. And we have um, a towels in here just in case it leaks. Um, it was leaking whenever we first got it, but we bought a little piece for the end of it that makes it not leak. Um, but that's the water reservoir for our sink. And then we just connect this hose up to where you connect an RV at. It's like a spigot, just pretty much. And the only weird thing is, I don't understand why they would put, like, because it was leaking whenever we got it the first day. And this is all electrical. Like, it's lucky it didn't fry anything. I don't know why the, they didn't put this on the other side where there's no water. So that's the only thing. But we bought this filter that filters the water for the sink so we can brush our teeth. And even, I mean, we haven't really drank out of it because we have bottles of water. But it says you can drink out of it too. So we bought that. Um, the only problem is I have a hard time locking this up. So we'll see how long it takes me. So I'll start up front. Um, it's missing the oil temp gauge, but all the rest of the gauges are the same. Still got the parking brake only. We don't have trailer brakes because the trailer is connected to our truck all the time. Everything's the same pretty much up here. Well palm, glove box, you know. The storage up top is a little different. We have like little cabinets up top and these buttons pop out and that's how you open it up. Close it, we just keep our paperwork up there. Um, the paperwork that we currently have is down on the door. We have a little folder for that. All of this is still the same though. We still have the sunglass holders and the nets to hold, you know, some snacks or whatever. And then we have this up here. I have like a little notebook that I just write things, things I need to know for the load down in. Stuff like that. Moving on into the back. We have little lights everywhere, which is nice. But, um, yeah, that's the front. And we have these curtains that draw make it real dark in here. I have the lights on back here right now, but these curtains draw on Velcro together. So, you can Velcro it all the way down. And that's for whenever we're parked for the night or something and we want to sleep. We can do that for some privacy. 
And then over here we have our little sink. There's some dishes in it right now. But the under my bed is where we fill up. We have like a garden hose that goes underneath. And we fill up that with water. Um, any RV, anywhere where you can fill up an RV, like for their sink, we can fill up ours. So yeah, we have this sink. We have our TV. We actually just bought this uh, this HDMI to lightning cable so we can hook the um, tablet up to the TV, which is pretty cool. We can watch Netflix and stuff through that. And then there's two beds in this one. There's my bed and Adam's bed. He's sleeping. But then we have, like, we have this air these buttons on my side. This is for when we're driving and you want air. Those are the buttons on my side. And then he has the APU buttons on his side for whenever we're sitting and we want air. So that's pretty cool. We have a little bit of both. We didn't have that in the truck. And we actually have like actual outlets instead of just an inverter. Like we have an inverter. Oh, I just spilled Miley's water. Blooper! My shoes all like, hear that? Oh, I just felt Marla's water. Let me clean that up. But, yeah, we have actual outlets in this truck. We have one up there and then we have one down here. So that's pretty cool. And we have all these little cabinets, like we have all of our pots and pans. I bought an electric skillet. We have a crock pot. So we have that. And all of them have these little buttons that unlock and you pull open. We just have some towels in there and our backpacks for our showers. Then we have a dirty clothes backpack down there. We have our trash cans. This is where we keep our shoes. We have our shoes down in there. Then up here, this is where Adam keeps his clothes. Up there. We haven't gone through that yet. We still have some stuff we have to go through since we just moved into the truck. But this is this is hard to keep organized. Everything keeps falling. But we have our toaster, the vacuum, and our blender up there, along with you know just like uh, our vitamins and tums and stuff that's up there. And then over here we keep our food. We have some food there, and we also have a little more food on the other side. Over here, just snacks over here, really. Pistachios, pretzels. Then we have, this is a more high wattage, um, sorry, our magnets. This doesn't hold magnets, this refrigerator, so now we put our magnets up there. But we have a more of a higher wattage uh, microwave in this one. So it draws a little more power from the APU. But then we also, what my favorite thing is, is we have a full size refrigerator. And that's awesome. Well, it's not full size, but it's like, it's not a mini fridge, you know? So we actually have more room for more food. But the only problem is they don't have cup holders back here, so we kind of just rig that up. Marlene has her stash of toys now. She has a floor, more floor space so where she can actually like play with her toys which is nice we have more room in the fridge for more food so honestly we don't even have to eat dinners out of the truck anymore we've been cooking dinner in the truck and then we have this full-size freezer so it's really cool we like that um over here i just keep the laptop and like the cords up top and then my clothes at the bottom but this was broken when we got in here, but it's not a really a big deal. It doesn't really open, and there's not anything to fall out. And then this one's Marley's um, cabinet. She just got her food, and we have to clean her ears out because she gets a lot of ear infections, so we have all of her stuff right there to clean her ears out. And all of her, she has a lot of bandanas and stuff that she normally wears, so we keep those up there. And then you have just, this is really, I mean, it's just a flap that opens up. 
We just have some extra paper towels and stuff up there. And there's another one over here. And we just have like uh, plates and stuff, plates and cups. And then each bed folds up. Underneath Adams, we have the toolbox and um, the fire extinguisher, the triangles, and uh, we have like extra oil and stuff. And then underneath mine, I think it's Adam's skateboard and the water thing and the, the water tank. yeah the water tank and the inverter. Oh no. But yeah, for the sink we uh we just turn that pump on. And we got water. It's awesome. But you got to make sure you turn the pump off, or it'll run up the uh, pump. It'll burn it out. So. This is my favorite. Right and here. yeah. This is another really cool thing about this truck. Uh, we have big I old windows. Wait. Yeah, I can't wait for it to get cool out. And just pop the baby open. Oh, this would be so sweet. You can take that screen out too. Yeah, okay, you can take the screen off. Yeah, you get a nice look. Like if I say, hey, I'm look out the window, you can just peek out the window back here. We didn't have that luxury before. And there's also a vent up top. So if we're cooking, we can take this off. Oh. And there's a fan here. I'll get that good view of you up there. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Pop it open. Is the remote working? Yeah, the remote's working. You just gotta point at it. They have this remote for it. And it has this, the fan speed, the temperature, what, what temp we wanted in here. And uh, if we want it to go up or down, or if we want the air to come in or out. So we just point it out and it opens. So yeah, that's a tour of our truck. It's beautiful. We really like it. It makes it feel more homey. Uh, it's really making out here a lot easier for us. 